welcome everybody. So, how many of you have heard of Ho'oponopono? One? A two? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you something. I used to be a tax accountant, senior tax accountant here in Los Angeles. I have two university degrees in Argentina. I'm a licensed in business administration and a CPA. And I left everything uh, just to do this, to travel around the world with this message that I'm going to share with you to, today. And actually, it was nothing that I planned. I still don't have, I don't set goals, I don't plan anything, because I learned to trust. I learned to trust. I love what the universe uh, plans for me. So everything starts with the decision. Everything. Your life is decisions that you made. Maybe one day that you, didn't re you don't remember right now, but it was a decision. Many times at the subconscious level. That's why it's so difficult for us to, um, to remember. So we were created to succeed, but we are programmed to fail. Yeah? Because of all the, all the things that, w that we hear, that we need a university degree you know, to be somebody. We go to the university for the wrong reasons. And have you noticed that we still tell our kids the same things that we were told? Knowing that, that we are not happy people. Knowing that didn't work for us. We are still telling our kids the same things. We are still sending kids to universities to be somebody. Because we think that when you have the degree, then you are going to be somebody. You are going to be happy. You are going to have uh, money. You are going to have a stable job. You are going to have money for retirement. Yes? And you're still telling your kids to do that. Yes? It doesn't matter that in that list, not only that's not true, but in your list is not to raise happy kids. No, they have to be professional, and they have to be this and that. Yeah? But we never think of raising happy kids. That's why when I woke up, I, I wrote a children's book where I put everything I found out. Because I thought, oh my goodness, if I knew this when I was growing up, my life would have been so different. And because I had so many things that I found out and so many messages and I couldn't put it on a children's book, I, I recorded a CD that now kids sleep with it, and even adults, because they, the book is for children three to 100 year old. <laughs> yes, so it's more for adults, really. It's because the kids know. The kids live very, a very frustrated life because they look at us, yeah, and, and we act like we know, yes? So, uh, but they know more than us. You process 50,000 th thoughts a day, so, you know, maybe some of them we need to replace. <laughs> And, and we call it replacing with inspiration instead of replay memories. If I don't erase, I'm going to keep life is replay memories. We are very predictable, people and world. We, just, we can tell what is going to happen. But now we can change it. And it's up to us. It can be changed. Yeah? So maybe we need to look at our habits. What, what are the ones that we can replace, yeah? What are the things that are really not working? And again, because it has to do with looking at, at ourselves. Actually, a mother that came from uh, Argentina for, to join the group, she told us her son in, Ar in Argentina runs uh, race cars, um, races. Yeah, and uh, one day she had this feeling, you know, the bad feeling, you know, that something could happen. She put it in a forum that we have uh, for the community and uh, her son had an accident. So she said, I know that Ho'oponopono always, we say we never know what we avoided from, because sometimes we say, oh, this doesn't work, you know, expectation. But she said, I'm gonna ask my son, no, because, and the son said, if I wouldn't have been hit, uh, it would have been much worse, I could have killed people. Mm -hmm. So actually that this guy actually hit me, it was a blessing. So again, perception, you see and say, how come the mother practiced Ho'oponopono and the son has an accident? See, so you never know. Saying I love you ain't always easy to do But I know these words and what they can lead you to 